Hello everyone and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be going over one of the biggest questions I get asked all the time since the release of the video is, Mike, how do I get a 15 speed here in American Truck Simulator? Guys, today I'm going to walk you through how to do it, what you need, and how you guys can go ahead and start shifting 15 gears. Hey guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the video give it a good old thumbs up today i'm going to show you guys real simple how to get the 15 speed here in american truck simulator it's gonna be very very easy for you guys to do with very little to no effort whatsoever we're gonna go through all the steps here now uh, i want to show you guys here i'm going to pull up the main menu here you'll see we are in neutral look down at the bottom you'll see my envelope my money my fuel my mile per hour my gear the truck and the time so we're all looking at the bottom of the screen right if i decide to put it in to well to let us know we have a 15 we have direct one direct two direct three direct four direct five then we have one two three four and five six seven eight nine ten now you might say mike that's ten you gotta add the five, that's a 15. 15 speed, if you guys imagine shifting like a house, you have an upstairs and a downstairs, right? 13 speed, eight speed, 18, 10 speed, right? You have a bottom floor and a top floor with your range selector, right? On a 10 speed, you have one, two, three, four, five. You flip your switch up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, right? You went from the bottom floor to the top floor. Same thing with an 18 speed, an eight speed, and a 13 speed. That high range, the selector there in the front of your shifter, that's your high range, not a splitter, it's a high range lever. It's gonna be your, your gateway to up and down. <laughs> Imagine that as a top floor, bottom floor, right? 15 speed, add the basement. This is where a lot of people get confused. The splitter that is on the side of your shifter is now not used as a splitter it is used as now a, another range selector so what i'll do is i'll show you guys real quick i'll pull it up here on screen hello don't mind the mess here i'm waggling wires around i ended up breaking the wire for my pedals here and i had to just re-put everything together but i want to show you guys something here real quick so now i have my shifter here right on the one side here this is your splitter and in the front here is your range selector up and down and then up and then down right range splitter boom 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 range range is gonna be up and down splitters left and right now let's take a look at the game here for a second a normal 10 speed one two three four and then five now you might see me going up that way towards the top this transmission is to the dash this is the vintage one this is the old school one i will be giving you guys both of them so you can then shift it like a normal the only big difference is instead of us shifting it like one two three four and five it's called the reverse so when you come one two three four is up and back down five is up there to the front which in a truck would be to the dash you might hear the term i have a 15 to the dash that final gear boom up towards your dash now how do we know we got the 15 we're gonna have the little splitter here we're gonna split push that forward and we have direct one direct two direct three direct four direct five you're gonna pull the splitter back come back to first second third fourth up to fifth flip your next selector up six seven eight nine and now ten now i'm going to show you guys how to install this so you guys can check it out for yourselves we're going to go over a few things though as we go down the road but uh show you guys here what it looks like in the game we're going to go to our options controls and you'll notice it right here eaton fuller 15 vintage now if you guys look here i do have 
quite a bit of other transmissions in here, guys. If you guys are interested, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. We'll throw them up. I'm doing a little bit of editing and tweaking on them. They are from a gentleman named Fury. Found them. Had my good friend Serial Black help me out with it. Make sure they're the right ones, too. And uh, we got these in the game here working properly. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it right in there so it's nice and easy and what you need. So let's jump back to the desktop. But before we do, do me a favor. Save your game. Save the game. And I'll show you why. Let's go to the desktop. All righty, guys. So when we're back here on the desktop, what we're going to do is we're going to go to boom right there we're gonna go to my documents american truck simulator we're gonna open this up and you guys are gonna have this right here now you guys are probably wondering mike why did you have me save very simple we're gonna go to our steam profiles make sure your date modified is your most recent one so if you just save the game if it's 154 which it is right now you'll see here 154 that is the most recent profile that you were just on so then this way you know this is where i want to have it on the profile these are all your profiles here guys they have all these weird numbers they're not you know john's save number two doesn't do it that way why i don't know but without that this is how we're going to be able to find the profile that we want all we're going to have to do is double click now when you get in here you're not going to have all of these gearboxes guys okay you're not going to have all of them but you will in fact have your config your controls uh, and you're gonna have 18 speed, eight double L, or uh, 18 speed. Uh, actually, let's go back to, I'll show you guys what you'll have. Uh, did I put it in every one? Look at that, I put a 15 in every profile? Uh, look at that, I did. Uh, GG. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna have your normal transmissions in here, 10 speed, your 18, your 13, etc. that the game has to offer. Okay, so you're gonna leave this open, guys, okay? This is where you wanna be. When you click the link, you're gonna download this here and you're gonna get your 15 speed folder. You're gonna open the folder up here and you're gonna notice there's two files in here. You have the alt and the 15. The alt, which is the alternative, is gonna be the reverse H, which is gonna be the vintage transmission, which basically means the 15 speed is gonna go to the dash. The other one is gonna be naturally. Now, I'm gonna highlight both of these and we're gonna put them right inside here. You're gonna see that like that, X, X, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump back in the game and you'll see it right there where you need it to be. Alrighty, so here we are back in American Truck Simulator. What you're gonna do is wanna to go to your options, your controls, you're gonna scroll on down and then make sure that you see the 15 vintage and the regular 15. Once you have that, that's the hardest part because now what you need to do is you need to go back to your mod folder okay because you are going to need a mod out of the steam workshop okay guys and what that mod is going to be is very self-explanatory you are going to need to need you're going to need to need you are going to need the re well did i spell it wrong real eaten eaten there it is you are going to need the real eaten fuller transmission mod here guys you're going to need this one right here from Loader Saints. It is in the Steam Workshop. The way you find out very simply put is the little blue box. That is where this is gonna be. You're gonna need this here as it's got 29 different transmissions. And if we scroll on down here, you guys, you'll notice, of course, that it does in fact, boom, right here have the 15 speed. Now, of course, these are the supported trucks, which are gonna be with, of course, the in-game stuff there. But if you guys did not check already, I do have a video on how to add more trucks to the transmission mod using the cast add-on. So if you guys would like to use it for your Pistor 389, your Ruta, your Roland, whichever it may be, you are then able to do so. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below so you guys can check that out. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about this transmission and how to drive it real quick. And you guys let me know down in the comment section if you guys are gonna try out the 15 speed for yourself on an old ride. Maybe you wanna try it on a new one. And let me know how you guys feel about shifting it out. You guys think, hey man, is this better than an 18? Or are we glad that we have the 18? So let's go ahead, we're gonna jump in for a drive. We're not gonna have any load on, but we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys real quickly how we go ahead and shift this thing out. I'm gonna make sure my selector and everything is down, ready to ride. All right, now I'm going to watch that thing fall down with my foot on the clutch. Oh uh, God, you gotta love the weight of it. And the truck won't start. All right, we are running, okay. First things first, guys, I'm gonna leave this up here on the screen so you guys can see what's going down on the bottom. 
Okay. My parking brake on? No, it's not. Okay, cool. So, the basement gears of a 15 speed, so your direct gears, right? That's what they're known as direct. They are so low, I can just literally let my foot off the clutch. And it's just rolling. Here's my foot. Here's my feet. They're off. Look how slow we're going. And then literally if I floor it, see how slow you go? It's a very, very low gear, guys. It's not meant to be a really pulling gear. So what is it used for? If you're pulling something really heavy, it's going to get you out of the hole. Now, the way that the ratios are is that they're not equivalent. Think about this for a second. They're not equivalent to the main gear. So if I do direct drive one, two, three, four, five, and then come back over to main one, the truck's gonna be like, Ree! it's not the right ratio, if that makes any sense. The gears are so low. For example, direct drive five is redonkulous. It's not even a useful gear. So I'll show you guys how I shift to 15 if I were to start out. We'll start out in direct first. Second. Third. Pray to God nobody's coming from the left-hand side. Fourth. Back split. So I'm going to be back on a number. Now watch. Back to number four. And you guys can hear the engine. You hear it go like, Ugh. Now we are using Slab Jerry's mechanical cat motor in here. In case anyone is curious, it is the B model cat. Now that is what we're using in this. You can use any engine, but you can hear it in the low end of the motor of it doing that lovely little, we'll do it again here. Now watch from direct fourth to fourth. Sometimes I'll even split fourth, go right over to sixth. Of course, because we're bobtailing. You go to eighth or seventh, guys. Eighth is a good gear as well when you're bobtailing. You can skip a lot of gears with a 15. And we'll jig her down. And we'll downshift during the seventh. Sixth. Up in a fifth. Fourth. And I'll even put it up in a fifth. Fifth is not a gear that you normally use, but you guys are gonna have to try it out for yourselves. Give it the old one, two. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. We are using John Ruda's 379, 389 here in this demonstration, in case anyone is curious. Find the shifter, Mike. Now watch if I go to fifth. Listen to first. Hear it? See how that is? That's how you can't shift them. So it's a very tricky transmission to get used to. You can even put it up in a fifth. That's a real lug there. Ah, the old cat can do it though. And there it is. Guys, let me know down in the comment section what do you guys think about the 15 speed. Are you gonna check it on out? Give it a old go. Let me know down in the comment section what you all think about it. And uh, we'll catch you guys, of course, on the flipperoo as I blow it up here in a 10th speed. 10th speed, 10th gear. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long day already. It is Monday. Hope you guys have a good day wherever you are. Guys, as always, keep the hammer down, and we will catch you guys in the next one.